with, with Shakespeare, you can uh, pretty much set him anywhere you want to for the most part. Um, that, that's part of his universality. And uh, so we made the decision for the, for the sake of um, cool costumes and all of that to set it in America 1775. Um, we, we did it for a couple of reasons. One, um, the play starts out with <clears throat> the villainous brother having usurped the throne of uh, his older good brother. And um, I asked myself, what might that have been all about? I had been doing some reading about the Revolutionary War and about how families were split up, brother against brother, both the Revolutionary War and the Civil War and, and so on, as these political issues can indeed uh, do. So I, th I thought, wouldn't it be interesting if the bad brother was a British redcoat? and his um, uh, uh, older brother was a uh, American um, uh, revolutionary, or at the very least, sympathizer. It's an absolutely delightful play. It's even outright silly, but I think in the best sense of the uh, term. We have um, uh, the farm girl, Audrey, who seems to be enamored of every man she meets. We have the musicians who have written their own music to these songs. This, song ha this play has a lot of um, uh, music in it, and they've written their own music, and it's absolutely beautiful. They've done a wonderful job, but we also have a small medley in the show that is totally anachronistic, um, but is great fun. And uh, so far, we've had the uh, crew members in stitches, so we're, we're hoping the audience will be in stitches uh, also. I'm Louis Salon, and I'm playing Touchstone, um, the clown, in As You Like It. The, the, the fight scene is quite intricate, actually, and it's, and it's really, it's exciting. It's, it's, it's kind of like a, uh, one of those, like the, the bear brawls that they had, like in the Victorian. And Nate taught us um, kind of like the kind of feeling and the excitement that would be at the time, because it's, it's exciting to watch a fight even now, but he kind of taught us this little chant that we that we do, and um, kind of gave us all these little like kind of little ad libby things to put in to make the fight more realistic and more believable. And um, it's just it's one of the most exciting part, parts of the show, actually. I, I really enjoyed working with Nate. Um, it's I would love to keep going. Actually, he's actually inspired me to kind of take up more sta stage combat classes because it's it really is an art. Really, it's it's difficult, um, but once you get it, it just it just it looks incredible, and it's so much better than actually getting slapped. <laughs> you know, <laughs> less painful. Yeah, um, I'm Jenna D'Angelo, and I'm playing Rosalind. She meets this guy named Orlando at a wrestling match, and she just falls head over heels in love with him just instantly. It's love at first sight. One of the most challenging parts has been wearing a corset all the time. <laughs> um, I, I am a very like loose person, and Rosalind is not. She needs to be very proper. And so that's something that's <laughs> been very difficult for me, to be more feminine, <laughs> I guess. I think a lot of people are afraid of Shakespeare. Um, you hear Shakespeare and you go, oh no. Like I th it makes you think of like freshman English class when you were in high school and people are afraid of it. But I think, I think by, by updating it and then throwing in contemporary touches, I think it makes it much more accessible to people. Um, not that, because Shakespeare already is accessible, we just don't know it is. But this helps you to realize, oh, okay, this is something that I can go and completely understand. Pick up the bottle from Ender and be at the yeah. We'll begin these rites as we do trust the land in truth and life. <laughs> <laughs>